Our team has designed a catheterizable urinary channel for pediatric neurogenic bladder patients. There are approximately 270,000 new cases of neurogenic bladder every year in the United States. Patients with neurogenic bladder have nervous issues, spinal cord problems, or motor problems that prevent them from urinating normally. As a result, when the bladder fills, the signal that is normally sent to the brain indicating that the bladder is full is ignored, or the motor signal that is sent to the bladder to allow for it to empty is ignored. As a result, the bladder continues to fill past its threshold volume, causing kidney damage and urinary retention problems. One solution is clean intermittent catheterization, where the patient catheterizes through the urethra. However, this causes urethral damage. Another solution is surgery, which reconstructs the bladder and creates a channel using the appendix so that the patient can catheterize through the stomach. However, this is a highly invasive surgery. Therefore, our team aims to create a minimally invasive device that provides intermittent access to the bladder as a long-term solution for patients who suffer from neurogenic bladder. Thus, we have designed the Cath Easy Term. The Cath Easy Term has an easily catheterizable valve and channel so that pediatric patients can perform clean intermittent catheterization. It also has a safeguard mechanism that prevents kidney damage through a Bluetooth system that alerts the patient when they need to catheterize. Finally, it is easily replaceable and does not require an invasive surgery. There are two main components of this device, an implanted device, which is placed right below the waistline, and an external user interface in the form of a buzzer bracelet. The channel consists of the main body of the implanted device and provides structural stability to other components. A pressure valve lies inside the channel and prevents unwanted fluids from flowing into the device. However, it is designed so that it allows a catheter to pass through and perform clean intermittent catheterization. Finally, a pressure sensor is mounted on the outside of the channel inside the bladder. This sensor measures the patient's bladder pressure every 30 minutes in order to provide the safety feedback mechanism. In the safety mechanism, the implanted device transmits the pressure readings from the sensor to the user interface via Bluetooth. If the pressure is greater than 30 centimeters of water, a microcontroller activates a vibrational motor that causes the bracelet to buzz. Here is the current prototype of our valve and channel. And here is our user interface. If the patient's bladder pressure exceeds the threshold, as demonstrated here, the bracelet begins to buzz. When the patient feels the vibration from the user interface, they will take a catheter and insert it into the valve of their implant to perform clean, intermittent catheterization. To determine whether our device maintains continence, we tested how much our valve leaks when filled with fluid. After testing, we discovered that our valve does not leak in its most stressed vertical state. We also performed durability testing before the pandemic that evaluated the deformation of our valve and channel when pressure was applied normally. Using this testing rig, our valve withstood pressures of up to 100 grams per centimeter square before deforming, which is promising for our implant withstanding bodily stresses. In addition, we have created a static deformation model of our implant in SolidWorks and have tested the effect of repeated catheterization on our valve with promising results on both ends. We have performed additional tests to evaluate our device's performance against our design specifications and will continue to do so after the pandemic. The Cath Easy Eater is a better way to catheterize because it contains a safeguard mechanism to prevent kidney damage, is minimally invasive and easy to use, and is able to record pressure sensor data to help patients and physicians alike.